So this is the table we want to end up with. And if you've had to create these tables manually uh, in your text editor, you know it's a little painful. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, insert a table. In this case, we want uh, three columns and five rows. We'll take all these defaults and one high. And now we can begin typing content in. Now, speed this up a little bit. I'll spare you me typing in the raw content, and we'll bring up in Julia Child's fashion a table that has had all the content pasted into it. Now we need to do the formatting. Uh, in the bottom cell, we want to span these together, and so uh, we'll use the command manually the first time. Of course, all these have some keyboard shortcuts. We want to span these cells together. And in this case, the default is to the right, and that's correct. So now we've joined that once. And we also, we can do that again with Control C, C, and asterisk. So let's try that shortcut, Control C, Control C, asterisk, to the default to the right. Okay, so now we've done that. Let's remove some extra rows. Uh, we'll use the shortcut for that too, Control C, Control C, left squiggle brace, and one more time. Okay. The last thing we want to do, uh, maybe we'll center this. We'll use the manual command for that. Table justify cell. It wants to do it to the left. We're going to say center. There we go. Now, like the table on the left, uh, these boxes are a little uh, out of whack in terms of uh, their geometry. Let's narrow this one down a little bit. We'll use the keyboard commands for that. Control C, Control C, left bracket. This one maybe can be shortened by one. Control C, Control C, left. Now this one we're going to make larger. Control C, Control C, right. We'll do that a couple times. Let that flow. Okay, so now we're down to two lines. Let's make that middle one three lines. Keep doing this until it flows. There we go. And now we'll clean out the unnecessary rows. And down here. And finally, Now you notice the blue highlight indicates that Emacs is still in its table recognition mode. We'll turn this back into plain text by running the command table unrecognize. And there you have it.